365 days of horsemanship, day 260. So, a bit of a rush today because my lovely fiance wants to take me out for lunch and I have work this evening. I haven't been up for two days because of work. Um, I was just late off every day, it just was, there just weren't the hours in the day, which is like objectively frustrating, but I think also just a natural part of life. And I think it's kind of nice for the horses to have a little bit of breathing space. I feel like I'm in a place now where at the beginning of this project, it was really important to me to prove to myself that I could make it up here every day. And I think now that habit has really been set in a way that it wasn't before, where I miss them every day that I don't see them. And so I'm getting better now at allowing myself to be okay with the fact that life sometimes happens, particularly in my job, and that some days there just aren't the hours. And so today I had a little window and um, came up sort of with the idea of, you know, a bit of a meditation and just like something easy, just to come and reconnect and something really for me just to center myself because I think, you know, particularly particularly with the freedom-based work, but I really think that with horse training in general, there's no place for me, and we're spending time with my horses, for me to be in a rush. What on earth am I rushing for? What am I rushing to? You know, I'm rushing to what? Enjoy myself as much as possible, you know? like, And for me, being in a rush is almost the opposite of enjoyment. I. I rush at work, you know? I get my rushing enjoyment at work. This time is for calming and centering and mindfulness and presence and focus. So for me, I think it was just, today is just an opportunity to really recenter myself and say, okay, I've been rushing around for a few days and now I'm back and I've got a period now of at least four, four, five, maybe six days where I know I'm definitely gonna have a decent amount of time here each day. So this is really like the setup for that. It's like the warm up for me mentally, you know? And so I came to Lawrence first and it was good initially, did some distance work and had a lovely approach lovely approach so if you watch my approach video if any of you have i'll put it in the comments in the description that one was pretty nice it's difficult for me to show from the beginning when i really approach from a distance um but today i really spent the time doing some distance work um, reacting to focus changes, category changes. He'd just eaten breakfast and I'm gonna turn around because I've forgotten his liner. Um, he'd just eaten his breakfast and everyone's sort of resting. So he was in a really curious frame of mind anyway. And after some time, he decided that he wanted us to be closer, which is ideal. Um, and then as soon as we got closer, then he wanted scratches which really is difficult because I want more out of our relationship than scratches. I'm happy to give them to him, but I want them to be part of a bigger picture of what we do together. And so that was emotionally difficult because I think, you know, I, I feel like I have two options. First option is to stop giving him scratches. And if I stop ever giving him scratches, then he'll stop looking for them with me. It'll become something we don't do in our relationship. And we learn to do other things and build other, build other aspects of our relationship together. And then I don't have to deal with the problem because I could just avoid it. And if I avoid it for long enough, it will go away. If I walk past every single time he wants scratches, that problem will go away, guaranteed. It will take a long time, but it will at some point go away because he will learn to understand that this is not a place anymore that he can get that. And 
That would be a good way out of it, but I don't want to do that. Might be the smart thing to do. I might be slightly sort of shooting myself in the foot here, so to speak, but I don't want to do that. Because, firstly, because for me, I guess it's a bit of an experiment. And secondly, because it makes me feel sad. It makes me feel sad because I want us to be able to enjoy those things in our relationship. I want us to be able to, to have scratches together. I want to be able to help him when he's really super itchy. That's something that I can do for him. It's a bonding exercise. I enjoy it, you know, when I, I enjoy when we're doing it and it helps him really flex his body and he's using his muscles and he's doing good scratch stretching. And for me, that makes me happy. And then it feels like it's sort of mutually enjoyable because I get to feel satisfied that he's getting some stretching exercise and he gets to have his scratches itched. And, or his itch is scratched. Secondly, I feel like there must be an answer to this puzzle. And Elsa definitely has a scratching video on her Patreon, which I've watched once before. And I meant to watch it again over the last few days and I just didn't get a window. So it's something that I'm gonna put on my list for the next few days to watch that. And really think about my timing um, because basically what ended up happening for the rest of the session is I did end up taking the rug off because then I wanted to work on, then I wanted to work on my rocking for yields. You know, I was coming in April and obviously my ego says that I want to be able to turn up with Lawrence and show her all the progress that we've made on our yields. And, you know, and I started working on it and of course the scratching question came up. So, for me, it's just really, I just want to be able to manage that in a really healthy way. And for me, avoiding it completely, knowing that I have the power to give him scratches, just doesn't feel good. And the way it is now doesn't feel good either. And it, so, because I, I'm following a pattern at the moment with it, but I don't feel like I really am understanding the end goal. You know, like, where am I hoping this will get to? What am I hoping to achieve? What am I hoping it will look like? What's my visual image in my mind that I've got? So, so yeah, so it's slightly frustrating with Lawrence, but it was good because it really motivated me to continue to work on this. I think, you know, it's something that ultimately I get to choose, you know? If this is what Lawrence and I's relationship is to me, is this experiment with scratching where I learn those lessons and I discover what it is that I want to do about that and how I want to manage that. You know, two things will happen. The first thing is I certainly will learn a lot about scratching one way or the other. And the second thing is either I will discover through my own process that the best thing to do about scratches if your horse is really scratch obsessed is to stop giving them scratches and that is the only way and I'll have to learn that the hard way or I will find the solution and I will know a load about scratching because I'll have tried everything so so yeah so that sort of motivates me to feel like that it's okay to be on this path there's not necessarily a right or a wrong path the path that I've chosen is I want to find out if I can get through this in a healthy way. And, and I understand now that what I need to do is really sit down. I think for me, I need to write down how, how it's what, what Elsa says. I need to watch that video make some notes, write out the pattern on paper, because that's really how my brain learns. That's how I've been trained to learn at school. You to write it down on paper. You to write down where Lawrence and I are, where we want to get to, what pattern we're going to use, what I think that's going to achieve psychologically. You know, what is the association that I'm building? 
when am I releasing? What am I releasing for and why? And go out there and experiment with it. But I need a really clear picture in my mind. So, so that's kind of motivated me to create that clarity. Um, I'll try and bring you guys along with me on that journey and we'll see how that goes. And then Mia was lovely. Oh, lovely. She, I just, per chance happened that everyone else was leaving the hay bale just as I arrived and that's ideal for us because she will stay if I'm with her there um and there's no one else there to bother her I'm not a um a, a threat to her to her eating and it was beautiful it was beautiful she was so happy to have me there I was so happy to be there we had loads of curiosity lots of focus changes. I managed to work on rocking a couple of times into a focus change. Definitely that shuts her down a bit, but then we did get the focus change in the end. I think she's probably going to end up a little bit like a Casio is where when you do something difficult, then he'll like ask you to stop with the nose touch. Um, and I think that that's okay for a first step. I think that's a great place to start. Um, and then from there, um, I could then start to ask her for different focuses. But just really to get that initial focus change, I'm not going to be too specific about which ones I want. So I want her to feel like it's clear. And I want her to feel like she has that opportunity to say Ugh, if she needs to. She, to say that's too much or that's hard for me or that's overwhelming. So, yeah, so it was good. So I was really really pleased, really pleased with Mia. Yeah, it was lovely, nice little, just 15 minutes, just reconnecting together. And that really helped me center myself. With Lawrence, it was difficult. I felt like my brain was working really hard. I felt like I was like under some pressure to get things right, to move at the right time and to stop at the right times. It was all very difficult. And with Mia, it was really like steady. And we were just working on just breathing and being and flowing and a little here, and a little there a little everywhere. And I guess that's why I would want Lawrence to be, you know, like, yeah. So we'll see. I think it's good. I think it's good. Good thoughts today. Good thoughts. And it was nice to be back. And I'm looking forward to the next few days for sure. Definitely. Definitely. I want to dive into the scratching problem with Lawrence, really tackle it head on now. Um, so yeah. <laughs> 